Hey, what's good family? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool or how I use it. I'm not sure if there are more ways to use it, but this is the way I learned to use it. I'm, I'm gonna show you how I use it. I'm gonna show you how I set it up and hopefully by the end of this video, you have a tool to put in your tool belt. So to start out, let me show you how I use it. Now let me show you some use cases. And, and then after the fact, we'll take a look at how to set it up. All right, so here, let me clear that out. And let's just take a look at some use cases. So here we are on a four hour chart. So the way that I'm going to use the Fibonacci tool, just to get a feel for it, definitely like do it, I'll go back, look at the charts, kind of like I'm doing right now. But looking at it, whenever you see any large impulse moves kind of like this, this is where you typically want to draw your Fibonacci's or where I draw them. And you want to do it from the start of the move to the end of the move. What I'm going to show you in this video is where we're targeting a golden pocket. So this is a range it'll you'll typically find a pullback to. Uh, usually when you're looking for pullbacks, it'll either be to a demand zone or supply zone or it'll come back to the golden pocket. So this video is going to be how to find that golden pocket. So right here we have kind of an impulse move right here. So I would draw a fib right there and then draw it to the end of the move. So let me show you where I got this move. All right. So right here, I drew the fib from here to here. Cause this was, we got this impulse here, like this kind of change in direction. So from here it shot up and then the trend stopped up here. All right, so because we got the end of the trend right here, I was able to draw my Fibonacci. And, and now that I drew the Fibonacci, you can see where does it come back to before reversing? Comes back, touches the golden pocket before going back up. So how can we use this? We can use this as a pullback zone. Going on looking, we have another impulse zone right here. So. Let's see, kind of stops right here. Never really gets tapped into, or at least not yet. So this could actually end up being one in the future, but as of right now, that has not been tapped into. But going ahead, going to look at more, this could potentially either be drawn from here or here. Let's look at both of them. So if we do it from there, nothing. Let's see if we extend that out. Okay, so drawing to there. If we look at it, this golden pocket from this zone over here actually got tapped into and touched right here, finally, after all this. So how are we looking at these golden pockets? There are areas that you can look for pullbacks to in the future. It doesn't always happen right away. Like for instance, the similar to supply and demand, like if there's a demand zone here and it just continues its way up, as it comes down, those demand zones are still demand zones and you can still catch reactions there. Another thing I wanna add about these golden pockets is the fact that, you know, they're not always gonna hold up. But really the way you should be looking at these golden pockets, this should be another price target when you're looking for an area to take profits potentially enter a trade if you're trying to look for light reversal to maybe profit off of a smaller move, get in, get out, quick kind of trade. But these are not going to be the equivalent of a demand zone. So you shouldn't necessarily expect a large buy-in or sell-out from these zones. Now going on, now that you understand a little bit more about these zones, I just want to quickly make sure that we know how to draw them. So we've drawn a couple to the upside. Once again, when we're going to the upside, you, you want to go from the start of the move to the top of the move. So for instance, if we're looking on here and I'm looking for another one, move starts down here and I'm looking for when it stops. So it stops up here at this peak right here. And, and where does it end up pulling back to? Golden pocket. So that's what it's going to be like to the upside. Now say it's coming to the downside. If it's going from top to bottom, you don't want to draw it from the bottom up. You want to make sure you're drawing it in the same direction. So in this instance, you want to draw it from here. 
down to here where it stopped. And that is going to be how you kind of find your target. Or maybe in this instance, maybe, maybe this is a target and maybe we did already tap into it. There's not an exact science to finding the move. Sometimes you don't get straight candles, but if you take a look at this, you can see it kind of does look like a solid move down. So that's going to be how you draw the Fibonacci's. Now let's get to how you actually put them in. All right. So if you're in trading view, the Fibonacci tool is going to be on the side. You have all these and yours may not look exactly like this. So I think it's the third one from the top. It'll be these GAN and Fibonacci tools. You will click on this and it's going to be the Fibonacci retracement. You're going to click on that and oh wait. You may have to draw one first, but after you draw it, you can double click on it and yours is probably going to look a lot different. It's going to have all these extra levels and colors and all this stuff. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uncheck everything except for the 0.618 and the 0 0.5. And that's going to be how you get the zone. Now, when it comes to personalization, yours probably doesn't look like this. You can change the colors right here. So if I want it black, you can see right there, it kind of made some of it black. But if I click on it again, I can also take that and make it black. You can adjust the opacity down here at the bottom and that kind of changes the opacity. And if you want the, a little trend line from where you drew it, this right here is the trend line. And the levels line is going to be these right here. So you can make those thicker, but I like them nice and thin. It's a cleaner look. And yeah, that's going to be how you set it up. But really, I have mine on, you just want to have 0 0.618, 0 0.05. That is your golden pocket right there. If, if you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.